Hey, what do you figure, guys? So, I'm in the uh, laboratory, and I'm just doing a little bit of aqua regia. I'm just, remember those little gold coins, those little gold blanks I hammered out? Well, they were only about 14k after I tested them. I thought they were 18, but then I learned you have to blot your stone. Uh, turns out they're 14k, and I want them pure. So I whipped up some aqua regia. I'm here in my little evil laboratory. Uh, excellent ventilation, plus an exhaust fan, which I just have turned off at the moment. But uh, it's dissolving the way. The gold coins are dissolving away in the acid, and they're uh, becoming a liquid. So I'll give you a quick gander at those, and then I'll, uh, you can see it dissolving in the acid. And then I'll be precipitating that out of the acid after I've rendered the acid basically inert. Uh, I'll be precipitating that out using uh, sodium metabisulfite. Okay, I'm not going to give you ingredients, measurements, or any of that. And if you try this at home, let me say, please do not try this at home. Uh, do your due diligence. Do all your research. Uh, know your safety precautions. Use your rubber gloves and your respirators. I only have mine off now because I'm at the end of the process. And as I said, I am in an extremely well-ventilated room with uh, windows surrounding me on all four sides, and open and breezy. Um, the air in here is fine. But I also have an exhaust fan, which I have turned off because it's very loud. Uh, basically, this is a big hood, uh, an exhaust hood, this whole room, which is basically setting up for, uh, set up for doing preserves and smoking and stuff. So, it made an excellent laboratory. So let's take a look at the dissolving gold, the gold dissolving in acid, which is on the burner right now, heating it up, uh, keeping the acid warm, so speeds up the process. And then I'll show you another process where I'm precipitating it out, and then I'll show you a process where I got it in the blast furnace as a, uh, as a cement or powder, and then I will uh, show you the in the blast furnace as it congeals back into a 24 karat gold, and we'll pour it off into a bar. Okay, but first, let's see it dissolving. One second. Okay, here it is in the on the heat bath. Let's take it out and hold her up to the light. Can you see that in there? Those are what's basically left of the particles of the gold coins. Dissolving away in need of a little bit more nitric acid. So we'll be adding that shortly to finish off the dissolving. So, put it back on the heat bath. And I'll be dissolving that. I'll be adding some more nitric acid here just shortly. And then once the nitric acid is in, I'll be uh, showing you the end process. Although it's still dissolving, there's no real need to add much more nitric. I'll add a little, just to heat it, uh, speed it up a little. But it is still dissolving. But uh, yeah, those gold coins have been rendered down to just little bits and shards now. Dissolving into a liquid and it will be precipitated out as pure gold. Talk to you again soon. Alrighty guys, so I doubled its volume. I just put in the precipitant sodium metabisulfite and as you can see it's all clouded up. All that will settle down and as it all settles it will settle out as pure gold. 999 pure gold or 998 at any rate there it is starting to settle you just see the top glare alrighty talk at you again soon very cool gold pure shiny gold no more of that coppery looking stuff. Talk to you again soon. Check it out you guys. You actually see it like zooming and clouding. Look at that gold. Ooh, it's gold. It's all sparkly. Okay. Talk at you again soon. Heck, my camera's working awesome right now. Dang, loving it. Jeez, I should go in and film that silver I got whilst I got it.
Okay. It's gold. It's gold. An awful green, but it's gold. Talk to you again soon. Look at that gold forming on the bottom. It's all starting to settle. All that gold. I think I got the gold fever. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, went too far. Yeah, my camera's not so grand. Time for another one. I'm going to buy that new Sony one, the, uh, their answer to the GoPro. It's waterproof and everything, that little Sony one. Hopefully in the next week or two. Look at that gold stack up. Precipitate note. I got a little bit on the counter there. Woo! Awesome. This is my uh, second gold run. This is the first time with actually using just pure raw gold before I used uh, scrapped computer parts and precipitated the gold out of that. And I'll be doing that again this fall. So, I just wanted to do this quick run and see how it come out. And we got gold. Pure gold. Talk to you again. Next step will be uh, letting this all settle, decant off the water, add a little more sodium metabisulfate to that to see if there's any gold left in that. And then if that comes out negative, then we'll just uh, take that water because it's now inert, meaning non-acidic, and can be poured right down the dang drain. But actually, I'll take any silver out with uh, salt. I'll uh, drop out any silver remaining in it. I may even put in a piece of... Uh, a uh, little piece of aluminum and plate out any copper that's in there. But I doubt there'll be any copper. Talk to you again soon. Next stage we'll be uh, seeing it all settled and decanting. There it is guys. All the gold is settled down at the bottom. You can see it's clear but what's cool is anywhere the light shines you can see the gold stuck to the glass. Eh? So if the light shines on it, if I move that light Anywhere you move the light to, you can see, you can't really see into it because the gold is stuck to the side of the glass. You move the light away, the gold isn't reflecting off of it, and you can see into the glass again. Pretty cool. Oh, set that down, and you can see into it again. But if the light is shining towards it, there's gold stuck on the glass and it refracts. Pretty cool. So I'm going to decant this into another jug of the exact same size filtering away and then I will be spritzing the inside of this and getting all the gold out filtering it all the way all the while and then I'll be taking said filter papers and said collected gold which is in the filter papers putting it in my crucible and turning it into a gold bar which should be awesome. <laughs> and I'll show you that process. But right now I'm going to decant it. I'll get back to you again soon. Alright there guys, so there's the gold cement. That little brown dust. Very, very cool. That's 999 pure gold. Or 9998 at the very least. Get right down in there. You get a better light set up and a better camera at any rate it's gold so uh, I took all the decanted juice transferred it over into that other jar I was telling you about added some more sodium metabisulfite and obviously I didn't have enough because there is still more gold precipitating out of that little bit I'm glad I retested and re uh, added some more sodium metabisulfite it may only be microns but it's my microns <laughs> All right, talk to you again soon. Soon the melt. Bye bye now. There it is, guys. Gold powder in the bottom of the beaker. Pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. So I transferred it all over into this beaker. And I added some more sodium metabisulfite, and as you can see, it reclouded. So that tells me there is more gold in there. My camera is a piece of shit. One second. Hey guys, so 
still just letting the gold settle out, settling down into the bottom. This is about the seventh time I've had to do this. Lesson learned. Don't go cheap. Don't buy your filter papers at the dollar store. <laughs> I bought these coffee filters and I'm telling you, it just allows the dust to just flow right through. I must have done it, look at this, like six times just to try and catch all that gold, but it just keeps, it just goes through like a, like a silt, right? It just passes, now it catches the vast majority of it, but you always get some go through. And look at, I still have more settling, so I'll let all this settle down and decant and decant and slowly decant until it's just that gold and a little bit of water and then I'll run it through another filter and try and catch the last of it. Down here I got a little bit. What I did was is I just decided I'm going to try just letting it to, uh, I brought it down to just that little wee bit of water and all that gold. Down in the bottom here. It's so hard to see. I need better lighting. Right down here in the corner. Just down in here is all gold. Nice big gold patch. Can't see it. <laughs> there it is. All down in there. That's just a big gold bead. So I'm going to allow that to uh, dehydrate in there. And just allow it to turn to dust like I'm doing with these things here. The filters that I've used. And then I got a completely... I, I Lesson learned. Don't start this process until you're absolutely completely prepared to do everything all in one shot and don't be in a hurry now I'm not in a hurry I have no need to be in a hurry but it's my first real run with gold and I'm a little excited and I'm in my possibly I'm rushing a little bit but uh, in the catch-up I have to it slowed me down tenfold being in a hurry trying to capture all the gold particulate unfortunately so don't be in a hurry uh, it's okay to build your own stuff. I mean, get your own glassware and everything else and your own heat sources and everything else. But for a tip, filtering paper, filtering process, get good filter paper. Don't go with the dollar store stuff. Uh, I'm going to try the top end brand, the most expensive brand of coffee filter uh, next time from the grocery store. And if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to go online and order some uh, chemistry filter paper. And we'll go at it that way. But, I'll give you another update here once I get her all the gold captured and into a, into a pan where I can incinerate it and then gather up all the dust from there and put it into a crucible and turn it into a gold ingot. So there will be more updates coming. Talk to you again shortly. Alright you guys, so there's all the gold sitting in all that filt treat paper. I had to filter a thousand damn times. The filter paper I have for the coffee filters is garbage. So, we're going to have to try a new method. <laughs> Get some better filter papers. Alright, so I'm going to put them into the crucible. And I'm going to cook them off and melt that gold down into a little pile from all those little pieces of paper. And see what kind of a gold ingot we get. Alrighty, talk to you again soon. Alright guys, so we just finished pouring it off, dropping it into the thing there, and we got ourselves our gold ingot. It's hard to believe that those eight gold coins turned into that. There was ten, but I gave two away. So it worked out to be eight. Eight gold coins at about a gram and a half each. And this is what I got out of her. They were about 14k. We'll go inside, give her away, and give you a better look under the good light what this awesome little gold ingot looks like. Dang, that thing is heavy. Man, is that thing gold. Alright, talk to you again soon. Alright, you guys, let's give her the end result here. Alrighty. 9.25 grams of 24 karat gold. And boy, is that good looking gold. So let me give you a comparison. Look at the shade of gold compared to the shade of the gold in my 14 karat gold ring. See how dark it is? Gorgeous.
gorgeous. No copper tone in that. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, I'll snap some photos and show it to you at the end here. Very cool. So all my gold coins, or gold blanks, have been turned into pure gold. All from stuff I bought at the hardware store. Absolutely awesome. But I must get better filter paper. This was far too much work. I probably lost about a tenth of a gram just in just in uh, uh, silt. It's just it's such a fine particulate. The filter paper wouldn't it just. I had to filter it a thousand times and burn up about fifty filter papers, all burning it down and getting into a little pile so I could get this. But I love it. So I'm going to put this video together, snap a couple photos, and I'll pop her up on the tube for you all to see. And yes, I've done some metal detecting. And yes, I'm up to 95 silver coins. There's five more I found. And I'll talk to you again soon. Best wishes now. Bye-bye.